Good morning! Welcome to my channel. This is Take a Breath with Alexis, and I'm Alexis. And today, you guys are going to be getting ready with me. So this morning, I have a Zoom meeting to go to, so I figured I would bring y'all with me. Garage door is still closing. Alright, so this morning, I have a Zoom meeting to go to, so I figured I'd bring y'all along with me and show you how I get ready and do my makeup so basically the look that i'm going to go for today is pretty much how i do my makeup for whenever i'm making a video or kind of my go-to makeup look so let's go ahead and get started the first product i'm going to use is the fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch primer a mouthful um this is my favorite primer i've used thus far so yeah and if i forget to tell you a product i will put a list down below of all the products that i use to do my makeup for my foundation for today i'm going to go with mary kate timewise matte 3d foundation in color bronze w130 i actually really like this foundation it's like super matte and Whenever you need your makeup to last all day, this makeup will last all day, stays in place all day. I really like it. And the reason why I'm using it is because, because I have a Fenty foundation too, but that Fenty shade is a little too dark for me now because I've been inside. So I am still my winter shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this all out on my face. And I'm using a beauty blender. It's the NYX one. So I blended out all of my foundation and the next step is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. And I am using it in the shade Fawn. So for a little more coverage, I like to go over all of my dark spots with the concealer, including under my eyes. I think it helps the highlighter stick out more. And then I just blend everything out with the beauty blender that I used earlier. So I've concealed all of my dark spots. And so now I'm gonna go in and highlight. So to highlight, I'm gonna use the Born This Way a uh, naturally radiant concealer in the shade medium tan. An interesting fact, I got this at TJ Maxx for $8.99. I highlight my face using the upside triangle method. I know there's other methods, but I like this one for my face. Uh, I learned it right here on YouTube actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just also highlight the bridge of my nose, the top of my lip and my chin, also because YouTube told me to. And then I just use the Beauty Blender to blend it all out. I've blended out all the highlighter. Now I'm just gonna go in with some translucent setting powder just to kind of set underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier. And yes, this is the travel size, don't get me. All right, so I use that same damp Beauty Blender to tap some powder underneath my eyes. I typically let it sit for about two minutes and then I use a big fluffy brush to wipe off all the excess. So now I'm gonna prime my eyes and I'm gonna use the Mary Kay Eye Primer. So while that's kind of drying and getting nice and tacky, I'm going to fill in my brows. And don't laugh, but I actually use eyeshadow to fill in my brows. And so for my eyeshadow look today, I'm going to use the MAC Selena palette. And I'm going to use this darkest brown shade here to fill in my brows. All right. So I like to use the spoolie to kind of comb through and brush my brows into place. It really helps guide me when I'm filling them in. Now I am just literally filling in and defining my natural shape of my eyebrows. I'm not going for anything dramatic or perfectly sculpted here folks. I'm just trying to enhance what I already got going for me. So again I'm just taking the eyeshadow and I'm dabbing it with like paintbrush like strokes 
to fill in all the little gaps in there to give me the nice full look. My eyebrows turned out a little crazy, but it is what it is. You win some and you lose some. <laughs> so now we're gonna get into the eyeshadow look. Um, I'm kind of contemplating going with an all matte look today, but we'll see. But I'm gonna start out with this, there we go. I'm gonna use this brown right here as my tra transition shade. And I'm just gonna toss that in to the crease of my eye and blend, blend, blend. All right, so typically with transition shades, I like to look for something that is close to my skin tone, but a little bit warmer. This shade is actually darker than I would usually go for, but it still works. So I deposit the color in the outer edge of my eye and I blend inwards using kind of a windshield wiper like motion. And I will go back in and add more color if I need to. But again, it's a windshield wiper like motion and I'm using a fluffy tapered brush here as well. So now I'm gonna darken the crease and I'm gonna use the same dark brown that I used to fill in my brows, this one right here. And I'm just gonna darken the crease um, ever so slightly. Okay, so this time around, you're gonna go, wanna go with a smaller tapered brush and take that color and deposit it right at that edge of your eye. And you're gonna use the same windshield wiper motions, but this time only blend it out about halfway across your eye, not all the way, but halfway. And you really wanna focus on keeping the dark, like the color, the deepest at the corner of your eye and just blending it out from there. And once I'm done, I really like to go back with a clean brush and just blend everything together to make it look more cohesive. For my lid, I'm actually going to change my mind and I'm gonna go in with this glittery brown color. And I'm just gonna tap that all on my lid right here. I'm gonna go in with that same color I used as my transition shade, and I'm just gonna blend it out on my bottom lash line. Okay, so I'm just smudging out that uh, transition shade on my bottom lash line. I feel like it's a lot softer than black eyeliner. Then I curl my eyelashes to prep them for mascara. The mascara I use is the Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara. I like putting mascara on before I put falsies on because I feel like it helps them blend together better. So I'm using the Kiss Magnetic Eyeliner and I love using magnetic eyelashes. They're so easy to use. You basically just put on your eyeliner like any other liquid eyeliner, let it dry and pop those lashes on. Look, my eyeliner is the same on both sides. Okay, so now we're on to contour. So contouring is not my strong suit, y'all. This is the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the color Truffle. I honestly think I could probably go a shade or two darker. And I'm just using a fluffy brush that I flatten with my hand to blend that all out. Next is on to blush, which I'm using another Fenty product. I'm using a kilowatt highlighter in the color Ginger Binge. I love this color. And I want you guys to take note that I'm using a stippling like motion to put my blush on. I find that this evenly deposits the color and gives you that really pretty just wash of color over your cheeks. And I just think it looks so pretty. Next is highlighter. I'm using the NYX Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder in the color Synthetic. What a mouthful. It's my favorite though. And I just kind of brush that on in a C shape until my desired highlightedness. I also highlight my nose because why? YouTube told me to. And these are the lashes. They are the Tintalize Magnetic 
lashes by kiss, but I was running out of time, so I had to hop onto that meeting. Okay, guys, so I had to run and like log onto that meeting because I was running a little too close, but now I'm back and this is the finished look. So I went ahead and just put this um, Fenty, let's see, what is it called? Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored. It's like my favorite go-to red. And so this is the overall look. I think it turned out like pretty good. It looked good on camera or it looked good on Zoom. So that's it. Like you, I just literally, I'm not trying to be super glam. I'm just trying to look like, you know, camera cute. Yeah, that's it for this look. What do you guys think? Do you think it turned out nice? I think it turned out like not bad. <laughs> and the meeting, I just shared my story with pulmonary hypertension and living with uh, Stella the Tank here. And I think I did a pretty good job. And I think this look uh, really went with me telling my story. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking through to the end. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you'll be able to see awesome videos like this every week. So that's it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!